So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to another screencast for <laughs> Goddamn obviously. So in this tutorial what I'm gonna do is show you how you can set up your own proxy server or what you can call it as a VPN. Well I won't call it a VPN it's technically a SOX 5 server which would allow you to securely browse internet all the time now there are a lot of advantages of using such a server the first one being is that you can access everything which was restricted before and i'm telling you from my experience i am on a network right now which is so badly restricted i cannot even access sites like speedtest.net you won't believe that so my network denies access to some of the most basic websites as well plus the other thing is that if you are um, worried that uh, your ISP is stalking you or eavesdropping upon your connections or you know anything anybody is inserting some sort of ads in your web experience this is the tutorial you are looking for right so by the end of this tutorial what I'm going to do is uh, tell you and make sure that you have set it up correctly a SOX5 server you are using that with your browser and you're accessing every freaking site you want so let's just start now before starting what I want is a server owned by you somewhere on the globe now the reason for this is that what we are essentially doing in this tutorial is that we are giving all of our information which we want to access from the internet to another server which we own so we trust that it's safe right and that server then on the behalf of us gets that information from the internet and returns to us now all this thing would be happening over encrypted channels so you don't have to worry your data would be fully encrypted and nobody in the middle except you and your server knows what the heck is going on all right so to get that server what you want to do is that go to this link bit.ly slash inmotion60 now what this is and what the hell inmotion is actually is that these guys are hosting or these guys are hosting providers right and they would give you a server now when I say they would give you a server I say that they would give you a part of the server and you would be able to access that server as if it was your server right and once you access that server what you can do is tell your computer right here which you're using to connect to that server and you can later on tell that server to connect to internet on your behalf sounds a hell lot complicated but trust me it's not even a matter of five minutes to set up this thing so let's start now once you visit that link which is bit.ly slash inmotion 60 which gives you a humongous discount of about 60 percent on their hosting plans you can see that it's 3.49 dollars per month instead of going to eight dollars per month which is their standard price and trust me this is the cheapest kind of SOX5 proxy server or VPN you can get for yourself with the guarantee that this is owned by you nobody's eavesdropping you don't have to trust any third-party companies or whatever right for your privacy so once you get this what I want to do is order this for two years right and this would give me uh, for around 85 bucks for two years and that's I think is amazingly cheap to begin with so <clears throat> if I sign up for this you can see that actually I have two in cart so yeah it's around 84 bucks so you can just go ahead and purchase a domain you can make use of that domain later on in your life but what we essentially want right now is the hosting part and once you're done with that what I want you is to log into your AMP so actually once you create once you continue once you pay these guys these guys will send you a login you can use that email address and password to log in into your AMP and let me just log in into there and we'll see you on the other side
all right so I just logged into my AMP and now I can visit this thing so and yeah one more thing I want to show you guys is that before we go any further I want to show you my IP address which is this thing 103 point um, something 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 which I'm gonna hide for I don't know just privacy reasons and all right not a problem we can go to my subscriptions I'm not really it's not billing yeah hosting one so you can see that my connection is actually it's actually pathetic right so um, this thing this Soxfight proxy would also push this connection a little bit because uh, every time you're just doing that sending stuff and receiving stuff from one tunnel instead of querying your DNS every time which might be slow for your ISP and let me just get a hold of this thing all right so we are in now the next thing I want to do is actually set up SSH access to my machine right now and the reason for that is that our computer will what it would do is that it would open something known as a tunnel to this server so what a tunnel does is that it will protect all of the junk you're sending in all of your precious data um, from being accessed by the outside world <coughs> right so what I want to do is go down a little bit and you should be able to see um, cPanel obviously you first of all need to get into your cPanel right and let us just redirect so here are some important information which you might want to take a look at right just go to the server information thing and uh, in the same tab what I want you to do is go to this SSH access now click on this manage SSH keys and what I want you to do is generate a new key now when you do that what it does is that it generates a public key which is stored on your server and a private key which is which it would give you to download on your computer now what this private key can do is that it can access that's the way the server knows yes I am talking to a computer which actually owns me right so that's the way so you can name this key whatever you like like SSH something like this and you can give it a password as well copy this thing yep and you can keep the algorithm to um, by default you can just generate this thing right so now you can just go back and what I want you to do next is authorize this key don't miss this out I spent hours searching what I was doing wrong and at the end I just found that I just haven't authorized this key so what I want you to do next is generate your newly generated key download your newly generated key by this thing just go ahead and download this key and this should get you started alright so from here onwards things split a little bit for operating operated operating who operating system specific users Windows guys um, I am not really sure how you can do this but if you can get something like uh, um, what do you say a git bash right you can make use of this SSH inbuilt command to open that particular tunnel so I would highly recommend you to download this thing git bash just google it download this Windows guys and you should be able to access what we are doing what we are about to do right now within Mac terminal or Linux terminal right okay so we have our file the private key file right here with us do next is take a hold of this thing and um, our username where's our username 
Um, where is our username, boy? It was somewhere in cPanel, right? Yeah, there we go. And make sure I have password in my clipboard, right? So, what I want to do next is hop over to my terminal. Looks beautiful. Just open downloads folder. So, what I want to do, do next is do ssh ssh search add key and shs which is your name of your key hit enter okay you would get this thing so to fix this what you need to do is change the permissions to 400 so that uh, um, the private key becomes kind of more private as i say now do this thing again and the passphrase here for shs would be same as what you enter so i just pasted my password here and it said identity added so the passphrase is this thing for this key and uh what you want to do next is actually move this guy so what you want to do is copy this thing to ssh and yeah that's pretty much it so just copy this thing once you do that once you're done with all that stuff, what I want you to do is write SSH. Now, this is important. Um, current user is this your username? CODEDA5 at the rate. The thing we'll take a look here biz199, right? Which is our server name biz199.inmotionhosting.com slash p2222 now what this means is that hey guy i just added to my system that i own the server by this shs key and now i want to connect to this machine which has a username of this at this thing and the port number i'm using to connect to this is 2222 hit enter and You should be able to get into your machine now if you're doing it for the first time you would see a dialog box where it would ask you for a confirmation where it would just say that do you want to actually add this to a list of trusted um, whatever it is you just have to write yes there and once you write yes there um, you should be able to see something like this right and Oh boy, you're almost done. So what I want to do now, now is just exit out of it. All right. Now, fasten your seat belts because we're gonna do something like this. Write a no up here so that we do not um, close our tunnel because we close the terminal or something like that. And no hub SSH. Then this thing is perfectly fine. But what I want to do is enable the gzip compression with c flag n flag is just make sure the tunnel is up i don't want to access the terminal right there and d flag is the port number i want to forward all of my request on my local computer to this server now what this means is that i would write like uh, 9999 here so what this would do is that when i send any particular request on my computer to localhost port number 9999 it would send that particular request to this ssh tunnel which we have opened right now and don't worry if that doesn't make sense i'll just make it a minute hit enter and we'll just see this appending output to nohub.out perfectly fine if you see this you are almost done now what i want you to do next is Open your network settings right here and go to advanced. So first of all, select whatever network you're connected to. Go to advanced. Go to um, whatever network you're on. Go to proxies and select this SOX proxy. Just stick it. Make sure the SOX proxy server for you is localhost. The port number is the same port number which you are using right here. All right. 9999 and you don't need a password for this because we already have a ssh tunnel established hit ok hit apply and bam you're done now you are accessing internet on the behalf of the server you own and let me just give you a quick proof of that 
let's just open speed test and boom there you go boy now we are accessing speed test on the behalf of the server we own which is this in motion hosting you can see that our ip is changed i'm extremely happy because i'm able to access a lot of websites that we are able to access block website as well and uh, i can go to ipleak.net as well so that i can just verify that we are actually protected you can see that i'm somewhere in the united states no i'm in india rather right web rtc is still leaking my um private ip address but it doesn't matter right so yeah yay we are private now and have fun so whenever you want to connect to um let's just say you want to browse securely on the mac what you can do is set a global soc 5 proxy and it will get you started on ubuntu i'm pretty much sure there should be a way to make this thing a global soc 5 proxy and probably better than mac but i haven't actually tried that on ubuntu yet so you might want to give it a try further firefox out of the box provides you to set up soc 5 proxy because Chrome just works on the system level proxy, so I have to do it right here. But Firefox provides it out of the box inside the Firefox setting as well, so you can try that out. So to summarize, what we did is first of all purchased a server from InMotion Hosting, right? Then what we did is we created a SSH key pair. We downloaded the private key. We um, tried to add that key. To our SSH it was ignored we changed the permissions we tried to add it again it was added we copied our SSH key into our SSH keys directory we SSH into our server it was working we created a final tunnel which looks beautiful and we are working on internet purely anonymous and secured so whatever you send right here um would be encrypted so yeah that's pretty much it for this tutorial and if you liked it then please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching and at the last i would also thank my first patreon subscriber and that is job bernal so kudos to you man i'm gonna make use of this to host hey i can host a free uh, not really free but uh, the server of InMotion on his Patreon subscription, right? So yeah, I might try to do a giveaway as well for an year or something. So yeah, that's all for this one. And again, if you liked it, then please don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching. And all the links and the information is in the description as well. So do check that out. See you later, folks.